Hey guys, what is going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy and welcome back to another Need for Speed 2015 video. And in this one, I'm just going to be talking to you guys about some new features that are going to be coming with a DLC at, before the end of November. So first off is we're going to get some more balanced AI catch-up. Now personally, I think this is a bit late. Most of us have probably already gone through campaign. But if you haven't, obviously it's a good thing because the rubber banding issue is really bad. The AI just catches up, slows down, catches up, slows down. Really, really obvious. Obviously, if we're going to be doing events after we complete a campaign. That'll be good for that. We're going to get some new wrap editor features, which includes the mirror functionality. So we're going to be able to paste things from one side of the car onto the other. I don't know if you'll be able to mirror it on the actual top of the car, so say like... If you've done one part of the top of the car, you can mirror it onto the other side of the top. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not too sure if that's going to come though. And of course, we're going to get an improved color picker. So we're going to get some things like... Uh, maybe it'll be like a circle. Like on Photoshop, for example, you can just click wherever you want. And uh, you can just do it dead quickly. So the next thing that we're going to get is Ken Block's Unicorn and Marohashi Sans Diablo. So now you actually get these guys for completing their respective narrative threads. So for example, when you complete Nakai Sans... Well, you're partway through Nakai Sanji, you'll be able to get his RWB Porsche. And of course, with Magnus Walker, you get his 277. That's partway through it. But once you've completed the narrative threads, you'll actually get Ken Block's Unicorn at the end of the style one, I imagine. The Marahashi Sans Diablo at the end of Outlaw. And of course, the Diablo is probably going to have some Neons as well. So we're also going to get the first look at Neons, which is absolutely awesome. So for example, on my R34 Skyline, I'll be able to put some blue Neons on that. That I can make it look exactly like it was in the film. But of course, it can get really rice. I imagine there's going to be some ricers out there just putting neons absolutely everywhere in the car, some dodgy colours. But hopefully we can put them all over the car, not just on the bottom of the car. Maybe we can put them on the grill. Maybe we can put them on the taillights, that sort of stuff. So we are also going to get an early in development version of Marahashi Sans Diablo. Now, I don't know if that means they're going to update the car a little bit later or if that means there's an old version of his car. I think it was an old version, like it was black with some bluish neons. I'm not too sure. And we're also going to get a rep increase from 50 to 60. Now that is really awesome, but I'm not too sure how quickly we're going to be able to get to 60. I imagine we might be able to get to it in a day if it's like the way it was from 40 to 50. But maybe when we get to 60, we can get some more rep. Just keep building up our rep. That would be really good. Now we're also going to get three new trophies and achievements. Now I don't know what sort of trophies we'll get on PlayStation. I don't really play it too much. But in terms of achievements, I imagine it would be worth like 250 gamer score, like a lot of DLCs are in games. We're also going to get some new daily challenges. We'll get 30 new preset wraps on cars. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for those. There's not been a lot of preset wraps, so that is a good thing. And also, there's just going to be some general bugs, tweaks, and improvements. So hopefully, some drifting problems and like hitting collisions and all that sort of stuff, that'll be sort of fixed. And uh, Maybe the physics will be tweaked a bit, I'm not too sure. But it does look pretty good, this first installment of the what Need for Speed are calling the living game. So they'll just keep updating the game as much as they can, I imagine. Um, a lot of people haven't been liking the game too much. So I'll probably have my full breakdown of Need for Speed coming to you guys very soon. And of course, I'm going to be getting back onto some GTA content. I have been very busy recently with some uni stuff and I don't want to bore you guys too much of that. But yeah, guys, I do appreciate you coming back, watching my videos. You guys keep me going. I love doing YouTube for you guys. Anyway, that is pretty much all for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.